Good morning, afternoon, or evening. How you all doing today? Welcome back to Mr. Morrill's intensive math class. Today we're going to be talking about adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers. Adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers are extremely easy. I mean extremely easy if you follow directions and if you know how to find an LCD and convert those fractions using the LCD. If you know how to do that, this is a joke. A lot of people fear fractions. A lot of people say they don't like fractions. A lot of people say they don't get fractions. Today you're going to see how easy it really is. So the first skill we're going to learn about, gentlemen, is adding and subtracting fractions with like. That means the same denominators. We're going to learn how to add fractions when you have the same denominators or like denominators. First step, if the denominators are the same, simply add or subtract, depending on what they ask you, the numerators only, the numerators. You only add or subtract the numerators and keep the same denominator. It's literally that simple. If the denominators are the same, you simply add or subtract the numerators and keep the same denominator. Then, always, you always do this, regardless of if you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing, you reduce your answer to lowest terms. Bing, bang, boom. That's it. For example, two-fifths plus one-fifth. Okay, do they have the same denominator? So we simply add the numerators and keep the same denominator. So what's two-fifths plus one-fifth? Three-fifths. Very good. Number two, can we reduce that, by the way? You can. You can reduce three-fifths. What goes into three and five? No, okay. No, you don't want to reduce 4 twelfths and 2 twelfths first. No, you want to add or subtract them first and then reduce. So what's 4 twelfths minus 2 twelfths? 2 twelfths. The denominators are the same, so you simply add or subtract the numerators and keep the same denominator. And here I have a GCF of 2 so I reduce it to one-sixth. It's that simple. Number three, three-elevenths plus six-elevenths. Do they have the same denominator? Okay, so you simply add the numerators and keep the same denominators. So three-elevenths plus six-elevenths would be? Nine-elevenths. Nine Very good. Can I reduce that answer? No, nothing goes into 9 and 11. 3 eighths minus 2 eighths, do they have the same denominator? Yes. So you simply add or subtract the same numerator. I'm sorry. You add or subtract the numerators and keep the same denominator. So what's 3 eighths minus 2 eighths? 1 eighth. Can I reduce that? No. You're done. Last but not least, 3 sevenths plus 2 sevenths. Do they have the same denominator? Okay, so I'm simply going to add or subtract the numerator and keep the same denominator. So, what's 3 sevenths plus 2 sevenths? 5 sevenths. Can I reduce that answer? No. So my answer is 5 sevenths. Done. Does that make sense? Pretty simple, right? Yeah. Okay. Next, adding and subtracting mixed numbers with like or the same denominators. Now, I was debating which way to teach you this. You can do it one way where you add the whole numbers and you add the numerators, and then when you're subtracting them, you have to borrow. But I realized that that can get a little bit confusing. And the whole point today is to make sure that you're not confused with fractions. So we're going to do this a different method today. 
When you're adding and subtracting mixed numbers with the same denominator, number one, first thing, convert each mixed number into an improper fraction first, which is a skill we already learned. Number two, if the denominators are the same, simply add or subtract the numerators only and keep the same denominator. Number three, reduce your answer to lowest terms and convert it back to a mixed number. It's literally that easy. Convert each mixed number into an improper fraction. Then if the denominators are the same, add or subtract the numerators only. Keep the same denominator. Then reduce your answer to lowest terms and convert it back into a mixed number. For example, 1 and 1 fifth plus 2 and 2 fifths. First thing we have to do, convert them into an improper fraction. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. That's 6 fifths. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. So that's plus 12 fifths. The denominators are the same. So you add the numerators and keep the denominator. So that's 18 fifths. And now I cannot reduce it, but I must convert it back into a mixed number. 5 goes into 18 three times with 3 left over. So 3 and 3 fifths is your answer. Does that make sense? Number 2, 3 and 1 four plus 2 and 2 fourths. Okay. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13 fourths. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10, so that's plus 10 fourths. So 13 fourths plus 10 fourths gives me 23 fourths. Now we turn it back into a mixed number. Five goes into 20, uh, 4 goes into 23 five times with 3 over 4 left over. Now, if you're having trouble going from mixed number to improper or improper to mixed number, please watch the video on that skill. Number three, five and five six minus two and one six. First convert into an improper fraction. Six times five is 30, plus five is 35 six. Minus six times two is 12, plus one is 13 six. The denominators are the same, so you subtract the numerators only. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, like you do, like you do like you know, like you okay, I understand that. That's what I said at the beginning. There are two ways to do this, but trust me, if you do it using the whole numbers only, when you get to subtraction problems of certain types, you have to borrow. And then borrowing gets very complicated. So I'm going to make it nice and easy for you guys, okay? So please follow the procedure that I'm teaching and thank you. 35, 6 minus 13, 6, same denominator. So you subtract the numerator, keep the denominator. 35 minus 13 is 22, excellent, divided by 6. Can I reduce that? Yes. I can divide 2 to both top and bottom, making my life easier. That makes it 11 thirds. Now, convert it into an improper fraction. 11 goes, uh, 3 goes into 11 three times, and there's a remainder of 2 over 3, and boom. 6 and 5 eighths minus 4 and 7 eighths. This is the kind that you would have to borrow. So we're not going to have to worry about borrowing. I'm sure you guys learned about borrowing before, and I'm sure you didn't like it very much. So this eliminates you having to borrow. 6 times 8 is 48, plus 5 is 53 eighths. 8 times 4 is 32, 32 plus 9 is 37 eighths. So the denominators are the same, so you subtract the numerators. 53 minus 37 is 16, right? Yeah.
Yeah, that's correct. 16 eighths. Oh, so look at what you get. What is 16 divided by 8? 2. Right on the money. Bada beam, bada boom. And that's how you add or subtract mixed numbers with same denominator. Next, adding or subtracting fractions with unlike or different denominators. Number one, you have to find the LCD. When in doubt, multiply the denominators to find just any common denominator. Worst case. And then at the end of that, you'll just have to reduce more. Then number two, convert each fraction into an equivalent fraction using the LCD. Then step three, just like before, add or subtract the numerators only and keep the same denominator. And step four, just like last time, reduce your answer to lowest terms. So the only thing that changes here are these two steps. Find the LCD, and when in doubt, just multiply the denominators together to get a single common denominator. Convert each fraction to equivalent fractions using that LCD or common denominator. Then add the numerators, keep the denominator, reduce. Okay, one half plus three fifths. What is the LCD? It's 10. Okay, so I want to convert one half into something over 10, and I want to convert three fifths into something over 10. What do I multiply to one half to get from 2 to 10? Whatever, 5. Whatever I multiply to the denominator, I multiply to the numerator, so that's 5 tenths. 3 fifths, what do I multiply to 5 to get to 10? 2. Whatever I multiply to the denominator, I multiply to the numerator, so that's 6. So this is 11 tenths. I have an improper fraction here, so 10 goes into 11 one time, and you have one left over, so 1 and 1 tenths is your answer. Number 2, 5 sevenths minus 2 thirds. What is the LCD? 21, very good. So I got to convert 5 sevenths into something over 21. Minus two thirds. I got to convert two thirds into something over 21. What do I multiply to seven to get to 21? Whatever I do to the denominator, I do to the numerator. So that's 15 sevenths. What do I multiply to three to get to 21? Seven. Good job. So whatever I multiply to the denominator, I multiply to the numerator. So that's 14. So 15 21 21st minus 14 21st is 121st. I cannot reduce it. I am done. Number three, two-thirds and two-fifths. The LCD of two-thirds and two-fifths is 15. Excellent, sir. So I got to convert two-thirds into something over 15, and I got to convert two-fifths into something over 15. What do I multiply to three to get to 15? 5, which I also multiply to the numerator, giving me 10 fifths. That's the equivalent fraction. What do I multiply to 5 to get to 15? 3, which I also multiply to the numerator, which gives me 6 fifteenths. 10 fifteenths plus 6 fifteenths. Denominators are the same. You add the numerators. That is 16 fifteenths, which is an improper fraction, so I must convert it into a mixed number. 15 goes into 16 one time, and one fifteenth is left over. Excellent. What is the LCD between 5 and 6? Very excellent, 30. So, I got to convert 2 fifths into something over 30, and I got to convert 1 sixth into something over 30. What can I multiply to 5 to get to 30? 6, which I multiply to the numerator and denominator, giving me 12 thirtieth. What do I multiply to 6 to get to 30? 5, which I multiply to the numerator and denominator. So that gives me 5 thirtieths. 12 thirtieths minus 5 thirtieths is 7 thirtieths. I cannot reduce. It's not improper. So I am done. And last but not least, what is the LCD of 5 and 9? 
45. Excellent, sir. I got to convert 4 fifths into something over 45, and I've got to convert 7 ninths into something over 45. What do I multiply to 5 to get to 45? 9, which I multiply to the numerator as well, making an equivalent fraction of 36 40 fifths. Excellent. What do I multiply to 9 to get to 45? 5, which I multiply to the numerator to give me an equivalent fraction of 35. 36 40 fifths minus 35 40 fifths is 1 40 fifths. And you're done. And last but not least, adding and subtracting mixed numbers with unlike denominators. Same exact thing, except you first have to convert each mixed number into an improper fraction. Then you find the LCD, okay? When in doubt, multiply the denominators to find a common denominator. Number three, convert each improper fraction into equivalent fractions using the LCD. Number four, add and subtract numerators only and keep the same denominator. And number five, reduce your answer to lowest terms. Same exact procedure. Number one, five and one-fourths turns into 21 fourths plus 2 and 2 fifths turns into 12 fifths. The LCD of 4 and 5 is 20. So I got to convert 21 fourths into something over 20, and I have to convert 12 fifths into something over 20. What do I multiply to 4 to get to 20? 5. So I multiply it to the numerator as well, which is 105. What do I have to multiply to 5 to get to 20? 4, which I mu multiply to the numerator, which is 48. 105 plus 48 is 153 20ths. Now, I have to convert that into an improper fraction. So 20 goes into 153 7 times, which is 140. And I have 13 left over, so this equals 7 and 13 twentieths. Does that make sense? Yes. 6 and 2 fifths minus 3 and 1 sixth. First turn it into an improper fraction. So this is going to be 6 and 2 fifths turns into 30. Come on, Mr. Morrow, pay attention. 32 fifths minus 19 sixths. What is the LCD of 5 and 6? 30. 30. Very good. So I got to turn 32 fifths into something over 30, and I've got to turn 19 six into something over 30. What did I multiply to 5 to get to 30? 6, which I must multiply to the numerator, which gives me 192. What did I multiply to 6 to get to 30? 5, which I must multiply to the numerator, which gives me 95. So what's 192 minus 95? That would be 97 over 30. 30 goes into 97 three times with 7 thirtieths left over. Does that make sense, gentlemen? 5 and 3 fifths minus 2 and 8 ninths. What is the common denom? Well, first you've got to turn it into an improper fraction, which is 28 fifths minus 2 times 9 is 18 plus 8. Um, uh, I, that's 26 ninths. What is the LCD of 5 and 9? 45. So I have to turn 28 fifths into something over 45, and I have to turn 26 ninths into something over 45. What do I multiply to 5 to get to 45? 9. 9 times 28, remember, you don't have to do it in your head. Pull it out to the side if you have to. That's 2, that's 7, 18 plus 7, 
is 25. So that's 252. What do I have to multiply to 9 to get to 45? 5. If you can't do that in your head, there's no shame in that. Pull it out to the side. 26 times 5, that's 0, that's 3, that's 130. Excellent. 252 minus 130. Again, if you have to pull it to the side, do it. There's no shame in that. That is going to be 122 and over 45. Now you convert it into an improper frat into a mixed number. Again, you don't have to do it in your head. Show the work if you have to. 45 goes in two times, very good, which is 90. And you have 32 40 fifths left over. We don't have time to do the last two, but I think you understand. I hope you understood. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.